Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani's division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I want to talk to you about a feature. What we did in this latest update, if you've noticed, is we didn't do a lot of new features. What we did is we took suggestions from you and we enhanced a lot of existing features. You know, we'll have lettering or we'll have a feature and you'll say, oh, I wish it did this and this and this also. Well, that's what we focused on. We focused on all the wishes that y'all had sent in for existing features. So one of those features is something I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite features and that's our nap blocker right up here at the top. It used to be called auto nap blocker. It's now called nap control. Why? Because now you're in control. So let's look at this feature. To look at it, I need a design. So I'm going to come to my library and I'm going to come in and I'm going to go to my free monthly designs and I'm going to go into January and I'm going to go into January of 2018. Remember, you get five free designs every single month as a thank you for being a Floriani software owner. Now in this, I love this little tic-tac-toe of kisses and hugs. So I'm going to pull this in and let go of it. Now what I did was is I made cup towels for my daughter-in-laws um, at Valentine's Day and I used black terry cup towels and you know the cup towels that have the design on them where the terry is looks like it's woven into individual squares it's got a little uh band type band in between each square so this was the perfect candidate for that so i came in here and since i was putting it on a cup towel that had nap I didn't want the nap, especially cup towels. We use those so much. We dry dishes, we wipe the counter, we wash them, we dry them. They go through a lot more abuse than our regular bath towels. So I wanted to make sure that the towel held up in the design and looked good for as the life of that cup towel. The cup towel, I want the cup towel to wear out before the design. So I selected this. I selected all items and I came up and let me show you the new control you have in nap control. I'm going to left mouse click and what this is going to do now used to it just put a grid behind it and that was all she knew she wrote. Well now let me show you the amount of control I have. I can decide how much past my design I want the offset because the idea in nap control is we are going to build a small grid behind our design that flattens the towel so we don't have any problems with the loops and I can decide how far out I want to come now on this because it's a, a terry dish towel 0.10 inches is perfect. That's like right around an eighth of an inch. Maybe, well, it's maybe a little more than an eighth of an inch because 0.12 is three millimeters. So you can see this is a little under three millimeters wider than my design. Now I can offset from outlines or stitches before if your design didn't have outlines, you couldn't use nap blocker. You would have to break up your design or break up your lettering to even put this grid behind it. Well now, as long as it has outlines, I can use outlines. If it doesn't, I can use stitches. So now I don't have to go through that extra step. Now I also can add a finishing run around that and we'll look at these momentarily. Now first, I'm just going to say I agree with what you say and say okay. Well, I found that this I don't like the way it looks. 
even though I am going to use black thread so when this stitches down my towel you won't notice it I don't want to flatten all the stitches all the the towel around this O and what this has done as long as the design is touching when it gets to that eighth of an inch that little extra it's going to include it as one design well I don't want that so what's my friend oh baby undo so I'm going to come to undo and undo is my friend I'm going to undo this now what I'm going to do is because I have so much control now I'm going to treat this as all individual segments so I'm going to come over to my bottom right hand corner and I'm going to plus to open up these gray stripes now I'm going to come over here and you can see there's first one I'm going to put okay now it did just that one so I'm going to come to the second one okay now I'm going to do the third one okay and I'm going to do the fourth one and I'm going to say okay now what it's done so far is it puts the mesh prior to the finished design now I told you I took that I'm going to grab these fills whoops I'm not going to grab that one I'm just going to grab the fill the fill that has the mesh not the steel stitch I'm going to hold my control fill fill and fill okay now I've selected all the mesh so I'm going to change that to black how am I going to do that well I don't see black here so I could start with this number where you keep shifting or I can go to my magnifying glass I happen to know black is color 900 I could find it <clears throat> and there it is or I could have typed in black I could have typed in the word black so now what I've done is I've changed the grid so that the grid is going to stitch out before my stripe okay perfect yay now I'm still going to have the problem with my my tic-tac-toe parts so I'm going to come down and I'm going to select all of those because now nothing's touching anything these are all by themselves so now when I come up and do nap control and say okay and I'm gonna add a finishing run just so you can see it I'm gonna say I want the same offset but I'm gonna add a finishing run I'm gonna say okay now you notice it did the grid and it added that finishing run okay undo is my friend I didn't want that finishing run I don't like it in that so no problem I'm gonna come back grab these and I'm going to come here remove the finishing run and I could also change this let's say I want it to come out point um, 118 that's very small let's see how that works and I'm gonna say okay there I go I still have that around the edge all is well I could come back and change that over and over till I liked how it came there we go oops I did it to itself undo undo there we go Undo is our friend isn't it so I'm gonna come here I'm gonna go ahead and go back I'm gonna stay with the point one oh and I'm going to select the black go ahead and select the black well it's too late should have selected it for there it did it did it okay so now my background is black then I can put my stitches on top and I also changed the steel stitches to white so I did these in white I did this in a pink um, so it was white black and red it looked really good or a hot pink it looked really good 
and there was a beautiful design using our brand new nap control we have now given you control instead of auto so how cool is this and let me just show you a really good example um i'm going to grab a piece of paper real quick before prior to this update um, if you look at any of my older videos on this if i go to text and I selected my text. If I selected this, Nap Blocker was not available. I couldn't use this. This would be grayed out. And that's because it didn't have that stitches feature. Because lettering is generally stitches. So I would have to right mouse click, I would have to break up text then I would have the nap blocker available. So it gave you that extra step in there and it didn't always come with the best results. So by having, you can see, now it's all broken up. See, it's not one piece of text anymore. Now it thinks it's a design. But now I could come to nap blocker, say OK, and there you go. But undo is my friend undo as my friend so we are going to turn this back into text now even with text I can use my auto nap blocker how cool is that that is way cool stuff I love it it's absolutely an incredible enhancement uh, you can thank Trevor Conker good for that for realizing all the control putting it in so beautifully when you request, then it's got to be put together that makes sense to software engineers. And fortunately, we have Trevor. So Trevor did that for us, and I am actually enamored of this feature. And sometimes I just use the feature, even if it's not about a towel or it's not about Minky. Because like with Minky, for instance, let's do one more little thing. If I had Minky, I would say because Minky's a lot taller, or uh, Shannon's Cuddle, it's got a really high loft, or faux fur. I would select this. I would come over here, and I'd say, you know what? I need a whole lot more. I would do a 0.25, like a quarter of an inch. The reason is, is if it's got a whole lot of fluff, a little bit of nap blocking will still let that fluff get in here and try to obscure so I can make that farther away which is huge the other thing is is sometimes I just like to put this grid behind there with an opposing color just for effect because it can look really pretty this is a very open grid it's not some closed little mesh that's so tight it's wonderful but it's enough to hold down that nap. So I hope you enjoyed today's class on our new nap control enhancements. And look around, we've got other enhancements. I'll try and visit those over the next few weeks. Have an absolutely amazing week. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks so much for coming.